Expecting a, a busy spring this year? Uh, I'm not really sure what to expect. The melt is taking so long, we don't really know um, exactly if it's going to be a bad year or a good year. Um, at any rate, we've got the resources we need to, uh, to get things done. Um, we just have kind of a harsh three to four week period here until uh, most of the snow is off the road network. And what are those resources in terms of, of people and vehicles, equipment? Uh, as we transition out of winter, I have up to 80 staff that I can assign um, with various means of, of filling um, and repairing potholes. Um, it really comes down to what's out there for work um, and what's the urgency. Um, so as the snow melts, if we start seeing uh, a really heavy pothole year, I reassign my resources to make sure that we get, we get that three to four week turnaround so that we, uh, we aren't in, an, in a bad situation. What are your crews able to do right now? Uh, our crews can certainly fill any pothole that's that's dry or, or, or visible. Um, I think one of the challenges right now is uh, is we're trying to focus on our high speed network and traffic concerns, um, and then certainly any standing water. We can put the material in, but any standing water that continues to drain into that pothole, um, it makes it difficult for that material to stay in it. Now that that's so called cold uh, patching. Correct. Yeah. And um, when, when do you get around to the hot patching? Uh, typically, it, it as soon as as soon as weather dictates, um, the asphalt plants uh, within the city. Uh, we'll start firing up, um, and as soon as we can, um, we transition to a hot mix asphalt. We've been talking about how we're wanting a slow melt. You said you're not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing, or is it creating some challenges in itself, the excessively slow melt? Uh, certainly for the roadways, um, you're going to see a lot of rutting and difficulty getting through the, uh, through the local road network, uh, as well as potholes are, gonna, are going to they're going to crop up because that water is slowly melting and it's continuing to freeze overnight, thaw in the day. Um, but as a community, I think what we want to see is a nice, slow, consistent melt. Um, it'll help people with their basement flooding and, uh, and just, just as a community, we want to see a slow melt. So it's kind of like good on one end, but bad on another end, pros and cons kind of thing. Yeah, I'll take the, the bad end of the stick on this one. <laughs>